on this plate we have potatoes and squash. Here's our good fat. This is um, fresh churned butter, our non-starchy vegetable, and our portion of protein. Good morning. Today I'm going to show you how I am cooking a meal for our lunch out of real food. For our carbohydrate for our meal, we're going to be having our acorn squash, there's the beautiful orange on it, that we brought with us from our garden. And so I've cut it in two and cleaned it up. It's going to be uh, lathered with olive oil and some seasonings and baked. This is a pork chop that I did not raise myself, but we went to a meat uh, store locally here in Denver that was highly recommended and their meat is completely all lo um, grown properly. And um, I've seasoned it and this will be cooked. And so my good fat is a coconut oil that I'm gonna cook it in and we will have an amazing lunch today. Then for our non-starchy vegetables, I've got arugula, piles of arugula here, and cucumber that are organic that I got from a store. And I don't have any of the other ones that we brought with us that are a non-starchy vegetable. So we'll have a salad to equal our non-starchy vegetable, our pork, and our acorn squash. These are our lovely pork chops. I've browned them a little bit on one side for about three minutes and I'm turning them on the other side. Um, I have seasoned them with salt and pepper and a little bit of a rub that they had here that was completely organic, didn't have any bad stuff in it. And then I will stick them in the oven to finish them. In the oven, I have I added a few potatoes even though they're a carb I had already cut them and I have them and my squash cooking and those are baking in olive oil. Well I'm back and it's had some good time to cook so let me show it to you. So this is my pork and you can see I've cut out a little hole in it and it's nice. I cooked it for about a half an hour after I did the other, uh, after I browned it. This is my acorn squash and my potatoes. A half of a potato is worth 15 grams of carbohydrates. And a half of a sweet potato, or I'm gonna, we'll, we'll take a quarter of this um, starchy acorn squash, and that will be 15 grams. So when you have um, your adrenals working and you have your insulin sensitive so that your insulin is working the way that it needs to, then you need to have about 30 grams of carbohydrates with each meal. So I can have two different carbohydrates this way um, by taking a small amount, 15 grams of each one of them, and putting on my plate. So let me prepare the plate and I will show it to you. So here we have our two plates and we don't eat a huge amount of meat and this is a very thick pro uh, pork chop. So I just cut it in two, one pork chop cut in two is gonna be our serving. A small amount of potatoes, a small amount of the squash and it's cut off of the bottom so it's all nice in there, there's no skin on it. And then for our greens, we have arugula, raw zucchini, and we have carrots. And I just take lime and squeeze it right over the top of my salad. So on this plate, we have potatoes and squash. Here's our good fat. This is um, fresh churned butter, our non-starchy vegetable, and our portion of protein. So this covers everything, it's all there, it's a beautiful plate, and we are excited to eat it.